Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner. I'm doing the intuitive patterns for the month of August 2023. If you look at the different cards, what's really interesting is that we have three lust cards. It's also called the strength card in different decks. I find that interesting because the lust card and the strength card are all associated with Leo and the month of August. So it's sort of like the universe is putting an exclamation point at the end of certain sentences to make us pay attention. So let's look at the individual cards first. The Aleister Crowley Tarot deck has the Prince of Swords, the Indolence card, the Tower, and the Lust. If those sound a little intense, you would be right. Seems that there's going to be a lot of intensity happening, and with the Tower card there, we could have some uh, weather crises, hurricanes, earthquakes, all sorts of stuff, and then there's one of those Lust cards again. Then if we look at the words of truth, we've got anger, cultural conditioning, and sacred fun. So yeah, you know, I think people on a cultural level are getting a little perturbed um, at what's happening and they want to be able to cut loose and have fun and be more free. It's August, it's the holidays, it's the summer we're supposed to be celebrating, but there's a lot of seething resentment below the surface. In the Mayan Oracle, we have Emish and Polarity, which Emish is the Earth Mother, and Polarity says she's kind of showing us where we have let things get to an extreme. And the medicine cards, we have Rabbit and Horse. Rabbit is about fear, and Horse is about power and taking your power back. So there are some of us that are afraid of taking our power back, and if we do that, we'll have a tendency to freeze, and, and then we're kind of like a sitting rabbit. We have the ancient Egyptian tarot. We have the strength card, the nine of swords, and the four of swords. The four of swords is all about negotiation and diplomacy. The nine of swords is a trap. <laughs> and so I kind of look at that and I go, oh, okay. Um, so, you know, there's all these people going through the motions and going through the pretenses of looking like they're trying to negotiate when in reality they're not. They're actually trying to cause cruelty and to ensnare people in places of suffering and difficulty. And then notice again, there's one of those strength cards again, one of the Leo cards. We have the Osho Zen Tarot, which is about breakthrough, healing, and celebration. And... Um, Needless to say, breaking out of or breaking through some of the glass ceilings that we've been on is very healing, but it can be kind of loud and cataclysmic at the same time. But there is a celebration to get free of the restrictions that have been holding us down. And then with the Healing Earth Tarot, we've got the other strength card, the Emperor card, and the Two of Shields. So it's sort of like a balancing act. It's kind of like we're on a canoe in a rapid and canoes and rapids don't work well together. Canoes are really good for flat water. So navigating rapids in a canoe requires great strength and power, which is the emperor. So it's going to be a little bit of a wild ride. So it seems this month that the theme of strength and lust happening on multiple levels is trying to get our attention. And so let's dive first into the complex meanings of this particular card. Um, I am using my translation from my book, The Integral Tarot Book, um, because I wrote a book on the Aleister Crowley Tarot cards. If you haven't seen it, it is on Amazon, and you can also buy it from me. So the Aleister Crowley uh, Thoth Tarot card of lust um, is an interesting one because it's called the Scarlet Woman. So Aleister Crowley considered the Scarlet Woman this woman of rapture moving in the flows of passion and play. And she moves like a wild animal and is intoxicating to watch. And she rides a seven-headed beast that she controls because she understands the nature of passion and is unafraid. She recognizes that controlling life force energy or sexual energy is impossible unless you allow a certain amount of wild flow to move. When one understands passion's natural flow, then one can direct it, but we should never pretend that we can actually control it. This card counsels that there are forces at play that have not been tamed, and those that were left unchecked have now created a world that is playing out some destructive and violent patterns and tendencies. 
The fact that in this month's unusual spread, we have three of the same cards with various meanings indicates a few obvious things. Powerful forces of nature are clearly at work. What does that mean to us? Yeah, hurricanes. Yeah, tornadoes. Uh, weather patterns, um, alarming heat waves, and I expect tempers to flare um, at the inadequacy of governments to appropriately respond to the crisis that now puts millions in peril. This card also is the reminder that from nature's destructive moods always comes new life, and while weathering so many storms in the month of August might seem daunting, it will lead to new opportunities and powerful shifts. What is also clear in the cards are the levels of suffering that some will encounter because of the gross inadequacies of those in power to address situations that are now becoming alarming. The, fee the earth has a fever. She is sick and beginning a healing crisis. While some may freeze in fear, the rabbit, others will want to reclaim the power that has been stolen from them, the horse. This month, we will begin to see the coming together of governments that are willing to move in the directions that will help this world move towards laws that will provide for more control over the pollution issues that are destroying the world. But it's going to be a little bit of a back and forth and not enough movement quickly enough. We will see many begin to get very angry and break out of this cultural silence that has been restricting constrict constructive action. August shows us that believing in the egos that some present have been causing tremendous harm to all of life. We will begin to see some untangling from themselves from positions that are toxic and that refuse to promote cultural acceptance and healing. Breakthroughs are going to shatter the old constructs and force the hands of those that have been lining their own pockets at the expense of our world. It becomes clear this month that they ask, too high a cost. Now the consequences are becoming ever more clear. The Earth Mother Imish is showing us the polarity that we have created in crystal clear terms. This month, eh, expect a bumpy ride. Many things are buckling under the heat and pressures that have been allowed to build up. We will see some massive and major upsets, so stay awake. Look to what we can personally do to make a world, make a better world, and remember that we are all going to have to work together to solve this problem. Thanks, everyone.